Okay, y'all, so I'm about to blame this straight up on the sun. I am just about done harvesting the potatoes, and I was like, you are not even filming. So go get your camera and start to film. Really quick, let me tell you what has happened and then we're gonna bring you up to speed because I do have one more bag to harvest. So all of these weren't potatoes. Um, there was a tree collard that I pulled. It took a lot of pest damage, but then it started getting ripe, but I didn't like how it was growing. So I gotta get that one to growing upright. And then it was another plant in there. And then I got this, um, my eggplant, over to the side, but we grew potatoes in grow bags. And so I have one more to harvest. Let me show you what I've harvested so far. I've also been trying to get some of the weeds out of the way because I need to come in again with the wood chips and put a layer of that on there. But let me show you what we have so far. This is what we have so far. All of these are not, um, it's not the whole bag full of potatoes. There is some soil in here. This is where I've just been putting them until I'm done with all of the potatoes. Now, this is what I'm gonna tell you really quick and it's totally my fault. A lot of them I should have harvested before. I had been saying, come out, harvest the potatoes, come out, harvest the potatoes. So some of them um, didn't make it. They were starting to rot inside. But the best thing about what I found in these grow bags, which I'm so excited about, was a lot of earthworms. It was a lot of earthworms, which is good. Um, so we went ahead and got our potatoes out, put the soil back in. So let me get this last bag over here and I'm going to show you what we have. Um, because I've been having to take breaks. That's why I say it's the sun, y'all. Um, but I'm really working on just trying to get everything together because this is why it's important to know your growing zone. We're gonna do a second set of summer vegetables. So I'm gonna use these grow bags. I have a hot pepper that I'm gonna put in here. Um, we still have our Japanese eggplant growing and then I may do a couple of more um, tomato plants or maybe bell pepper plants before we actually start seeds in August for our fall vegetables. So harvesting potatoes is always like a mystery. You don't know what you're gonna get until you turn the bag over. Now this was one of the shorter bags that we had and that's because I went potato crazy um, getting the seed potatoes from the store and I was running out of grow bags. So I'm going to flip this over and then we're going to see what we have in here. Okay, so I needed both of my hands, y'all, but this is what we got out of the grow bags. This was actually what was called the red, white, and blue um, potato collection, but I'm really, um, I'm really glad that we grew potatoes again this season. We did have some really small ones and then a few that were starting to rot that we had to get get rid of. But overall, for the size of the grow bags and for what we got, um, this is really good. So I definitely will be growing this collection again, but this time I'm going to pay a little bit more attention to the potatoes because I didn't pay as much attention to them as I should. So I'm really glad that we got the harvest. And again, this is not full of potatoes, but um, we did get a good amount for the grow bags that we grew them in. I want to say we grew them in like one, two, three, four, four grow bags total. Okay, so thank you all so much for joining me. I'm going to go ahead, take a little break, go get some water, stay hydrated. Make sure if you're out in the garden that you stay hydrated, especially in these temperatures. Um, I have decided to put a pepper plant right here. And then also we planted some dwarf moringa plants. I always grow the full size moringa plants, but we have to grow it as an annual and it's starting to get tall. Um, but the dwarf ones, I wanted to try to see how big that they get. So we're going to put a couple of those in these grow bags right here. And then I'll probably save this big one um, over here for the 
um, the tree collar that we're going to start from seed. So, as always, thank you all so much for watching this video. Make sure you share this video with your family and your friends. If you are not a subscriber, we would love to have you as a subscriber. So, go ahead, tap the bell so that you can receive notification each and every time we upload a new video. Again, thank you all so, so much for watching. And until the next video, bye-bye. Thank you.